I'll break it all to pieces. Now are we well prepared to know the pleasure of our fair cousin, Dauphin. Your Highness, lately sending into France, did claim some certain dukedoms in the right of your great predecessor, King Edward III. In answer of which claim, the prince, my master, says that you savor too much of your youth. He therefore sends you, metre for your spirit, this ton of treasure. And in lieu of this, desires you let those dukedoms that you claim hear no more of you. This, the Dauphin speaks. What treasure, uncle? Tennis balls, my liege. We are glad the Dauphin is so pleasant with us. Is present and your pains we thank you for. When we have matched our rackets to these balls, we will in France, by God's grace, play a set. Shall strike his father's crown into the hazard, and we understand him well. How he comes o'er us with our wilder days, not measuring what use we made of them. But tell the Dauphin. I will keep my state, be like a king, and show my sail of greatness when I do rouse me in my throne of France. And tell the pleasant prince, this mock of his hath turned his balls to gunstones, and his soul shall stand sore charged for the wasteful vengeance that shall fly with them. For many a thousand widows shall this his mock, mock out of their dear husbands, mock mothers from their sons, mock castles down, and some are yet ungotten and unborn that shall have cause to curse the Dauphin's school. So get you hence in peace, and tell the Dauphin his jest will savor but of shallow wit when thousands weep more than did laugh at it. Convey them with safe conduct. Very well.